okay I have already launched my Wireshark and depending on the version of Wireshark that you have you may see a screen similar like this where all the menus are on the top and of course you have a dashboard something that looks like this to use Wireshark is actually quite simple all you have to do is to identify which particular interface that you want to use right and uh, select it so in this case I'll select my wireless and just start it and almost immediately whatever particular packets or traffic that is going through that particular interface is actually being captured so right now you can see I have about 50 over packet uh, but I'm just going to push this by going into the internet okay maybe I'll just go to my Google site and do some uh, clicking around I'm just generating more traffic okay so okay that should give me more traffic through that particular interface okay then I'll minimize this and you can see that basically now I have over 3000 over particular packets and you can just continue to let it run okay now of course uh, if you want you if you want to stop this you can use the stop button and you can actually save using the file and you can save it into a particular file that you want okay uh, for instance I can just call this March capture and I will be able to save this okay so very quickly just to run fight this uh, Wireshark is not an actual problem right? in the subsequent video we will look into how to use it okay in studying the packet itself and its function its other functionality